coming in. This is a third down and five. Kelly throwing incomplete. On the reverse, this is the speedy uh, Brennan Dingle. And he gets some room off the edge. 83 degrees and warmer on the fields. On first down, Kelly stepping up. And he's going to run. Cole Kelly using a little bit of burst. And that big 6'7", 260-pound frame to the 45 and a gain of 22. You know, you need took him three days, he said, to offer him. I'll swing it out again. And that is Terrell Carter for the first down. Pulled down by Tyreek Boyd, but a gain of six. Yeah, and first they move down. Chains. Yeah. CS coming in. They fake it to McClendon. Kelly throwing, and that's a misfire. Looking for his tight end, Nolan Given. The, the officials are holding up the snap. Southeastern six for nine on, on fourth down this year. Fourth and one, Kelly design run, and he's got the first down. Now he's just too big. He's just too big for the inside linebackers or safeties. Big back on first down at the 18. Kelly to throw again. And he's got his target. That is Nick Kovacs, who caught a touchdown last year against Nichols. I should say last spring. Nice and CJ Turner dropped the touchdown. So it could be 21 for 21 on all touchdowns. First down and goal. They fake it to Brent, throwing on a slant a little bit behind his man. And that was Kovac. Eastern approaching four and a half to go in the first quarter. McClendon is the running back next to Kelly. That gets the three-man rush. Kelly steps up wide open. Nick Kovacs in for the touchdown. And in a second straight game against Nichols, Kovacs scores again. His only catch last week against McNeese, a touchdown of 13 yards. Extra point is good from Matteo Rengifo. Seven, getting late in the first quarter. Cole Kelly to Nick Kovacs. We're all tied up here. Dingle, the motion man. Three-man rush for Nichols. Kelly steps up. He's got his man. It's Dingle, the crosser. Can he get to the sticks? He does, and then some. 30 seconds to go, first quarter and a tie game. Kovacs is the motion man, he's at the top of your screen. Kelly fakes the run, now throws, and he has his man, it's tight end Damian Dawson. You know, they ran that exact play a couple times to perfection against McNeese, and they do it again. Dawson's fifth catch of the season is good for a first down. Yeah, just kind of. Southeastern 22 for 22 converting in the red zone this year with 21 touchdowns, including one earlier in the first quarter. Third and three. Kelly to throw. Mitchell has it. Did he get a foot down in bounds? They say no. Yeah, just knocked out of bounds there on the outside. Britt. This is a fourth down and three. They'll roll Kelly. Looking back toward the left. Now he scrambles. And he falls forward. He's got the first down. Well, that's a big fellow. And when the big fellow falls... On second down, they hand it off. This is McClendon spinning toward the goal line. He's shy of a touchdown, but he's got a first down and goal. About that at the top of the show here. All these guys continue to be back and ready to go. And as we see Cole Kelly here. Another fake of the run into a pass to Damian Dawson for the touchdown. Well, good job. Brandon Mitchell, Austin Mitchell, beg your pardon. They give it to him on a sweep. Can he get the edge? He does. And he's got a first down on a gain of four. Oh, I'm lucky productive. It's actually second down and short. And this is Teron Jones reaching to the goal line. He's just short. That will set up first and goal. Snell Cole Kelly getting quickly up the line of scrimmage. And might just want to pop this thing right in as yeah, he does. Yeah, he sneaks it. He barrels in. Cole Kelly is in for six more. And he is using his legs. He's using his first and ten. Faking the pitch. And wide open is Gage Larvidane. He has all kinds of room. And he breaks a tackle. He's still going. And he's got a 76-yard touchdown for his first car. They run it this time with Jesse Britt. Patiently waits for a seam. And he's close to a first down. Struck this lead before the half. Kelly with a lot of time to throw, and he's got Mitchell over the seam again. 
Well, defensively, Nichols has kind of gone to a 3-3-5 kind of a look here defensively, only rushing 3-3-5 or a 3-2-5 or 4-2-5 at times. Look like they're only going to be rushing three here again. On first and goal, Larvidane. We saw his speed earlier. A couple of jukes there and gets to the three. More of a narrow formation. And there's a flag. That's a rare flag in this game. And a false start. It's on the tight end, no one given. The most penalties and penalty yards. Kelly throwing, at least looking to. And that is incomplete for given. Some contact over there with Jackson, no call. Cole Kelly point. Four man rush, Kelly throwing, Carter into the end zone, or did they say he's just shy? Probably just shy there, Jack. And down to the one. He just kind of lost his footing, I thought there. 31 already today to start the third. They'll sneak it here on third down, and they have another one. Products. Now his connection here to Southeastern was actually Jake DeLome. Folks might remember him, a terrific player for UL, and Eventually with the Panthers in the NFL. That is picked off. Jordan Jackson has it. Into the house he goes. Chains for Southeastern. Here's Austin Mitchell with the crease. He's about as explosive as it gets in the FCS. And he's got 16 there. Just get the ball to him inside. And... On first down, Kelly throwing. Over the middle for Kovacs. Held on in traffic. Oh, he took a hit from Tyreek Boyd. 40% in terms of pass run. Throwing here on second and short. And let's see. Look at him just pull some guys with him to the first down marker. He had big Alinus Noel right on his back. Field here on second down and 10. Four-man rush for Nichols. Time for Kelly. Dumps it off to his tight end, Damian Dawson. And he's tackled by James Tobin, is one of the leading receivers in Southeastern history. Has been quiet today. This is Austin Mitchell. He has not been quiet. He is a crease, and he's got six more for the Lions. 30 yard. They're four for eight today on third down. Nichols rushes four. Kelly with time. Austin Mitchell has a first down, but a flag. Looks like that. No. Southeastern on the move again. Play action for Kelly. Steps up. Pressure coming. And down he goes. Did the ball get knocked out too? It did. Nichols claiming they hopped on it. Perry Gancy looks. Teron Jones motions out of the backfield. CJ Turner, bottom of your screen's been quiet today. This is no one given. Tyreek Boyd brings him down. Not before he came. that uh, are working without him. Kelly throwing on the comeback. Austin Mitchell, 16 more. Hayden Shaheen made the stop. So you're seeing, you feel like there's some holes. 13, but he's halfway there. He's got seven from midfield. Toward the sideline, C.J. Turner. Haven't called his name a whole lot today. But that pass is good for 19. Remember, I, I would expect the Tommy right back. He might dial something up here. He's only rushing three, though. Kelly over the middle. He has his man. That's Ed McGee stretching for a first down. And on second down in 23, they get a huge conversion there. Jamon McClendon bouncing off a couple of tacklers and taking it down near the five. Out in San Diego, rushed for 5,000 yards in his final two years. He can play. First and goal, Southeastern. This is McClendon. Using that big 6'1", 240-pound frame to get a must-stop situation for Nichols. Kelly on the keeper, running out wide and into the end zone. For the second time today, Cole Kelly strikes on the ground. He's in the FCS. Kelly designed run. First down again. Yep, enough for it. He just kind of waits and sets up those, let those blockers set it up. A spot people want to come to because of the way they spread the ball around. 
Kelly to throw. He's got his crosser, Austin Mitchell. Finally pulled down by Tyreek Boyd, not before another first down gain of seven. He's electric, isn't he? He is. Uh, he, you know, get something to start happening here. They forced two turnovers. Can they get another? McClendon getting the edge. Now there's a flag down as he works his way all the way inside the 10. That will cheer pretty much put it out of reach. A touchdown, that is. Kelly rolling. Pressure coming from Gancy. Somehow oh. gets that ball away. And into the end zone goes Ivan Drabowski. It's his third catch of 80 in terms of their best five game start. Pretty impressive. All road games, too. They'll pitch it to McClendon. And he has the edge. He reaches toward the pylon. Say what they say, just shy, I think. McClendon. Cole Kelly is under center, and they do hand it off to McClendon. Gotta earn it. That's a big stick. <laughs> <laughs>